IgG glycosylation in many of these diseases, we see that it's heavily altered. And in, in most of the diseases, nearly all of them, people with a disease would have changes in a glycom resembling aging. So this is the effect of aging on different glycans. Some glycans go up, some glycans go down. And then we see people with the different diseases moving more or less in the same direction. And the change often happens even before the disease is being diagnosed. So these glycans are actually functional effectors which regulate low-grade chronic inflammation. And low-grade chronic inflammation is underlying many, many complex diseases of today. And also when you think about these pandemics, we know that um, age is the primary risk factor. It's several thousand fold different uh, risk of dying in young and old people, but actually biological age could be even better because young people who had a severe COVID were mostly not metabolically healthy. There were some rare genetic exceptions, but mostly young people were metabolically not healthy. And this is something what David and I declare, David Sinclair and I predicted in March last year when we published our editorial in Aging, saying that the biomarkers of biological age are better predictors of COVID-19 severity than the chronological age. And in the meantime, we did a number of COVID cohorts and we have indeed shown that people who will have more severe COVID will have the older glycom, and interestingly, this part, which is still not published, we looked at the asymptomatic and the mild COVID and people who had a mild and asymptomatic COVID, they did not have any changes while the severe disease had the significant changes 